But uh, just been thinking about some of the things you and I have talked about over the last several times we've been together. And you had mentioned, you know, Pastor, what do you want to talk about? And, uh, you know, I, I one of the times before, I think way back in June or May, I just mentioned the word lawlessness out of Matthew 24. I remember. I remember. So, uh, we kind of talked about that and I threw a statement out that the opposite of, of love is not hate, but lawlessness. Yes. And uh, we kind of sprung board off of that. You said elaborate on that. And I was reading out of Matthew 24, starts with ver verse 10, and he's talking about in the end times. And one of the things the prophetic does is it does it just doesn't tell you what's going to happen. It gives you insight into what is happening. And yeah. sometimes there's spiritual insight we need into what's happening. And you and I have had this discussion before about not only what we see in the streets in the arena of lawlessness, but what we see up in the high places of government in the yes. area of lawlessness. And we're seeing some of that manifested, you know, in fact, some of the some of the very things that were were done or accused of what a year or two ago now are coming back and being accused of the same accusations, which, by the way, I shared on that last night in our church as part of the intersection, you know, where the wow. enemy called him in the intersection. And he said, what you did to them, talking about Edom and Obadiah, what you did to them, it's going to come back on you. Well, I had wow. shared that message last year or at the end of the year. And I said, in the intersections, this is what happens. The enemy jumped in the way to stop them, but God brought on their heads what they had put on the other. So when you touched wow. my people, I came back and put on you what that was the reward. It was the sowing and reaping process. And I that's think part of the intersection of 2021. Uh I think it's good to understand as well that, that prophecy, um, as you see it unfolding around you, you're not seeing the whole picture. And as you, as you go yeah. forward in time and, and, and yeah. live more experience, then you go back and think, wow, that's what that meant. Oh, oh, now I see it. Because yeah. we see it through a glass of oil dimly as it is. But, but what we spoke about prophetically uh, a, a while back we are now watching it in real time, in black and white, before us in Congress and yeah. all the all the the things the, and the decisions they're making. Um, the other day they passed this um, 1.9 trillion dollar bill, and uh, I heard yeah. someone the other day on television saying less than nine percent of it, nine percent of 1.9 trillion, is actually going to be used to help people in the pandemic. The rest of it is going to go to government spending and, and Planned Parenthood and the, the arts and all the things that have nothing to do with what really the need of the, pe the populace is because they don't care about the populace. They care about well, control well, and power over us. 